Yeah. So Mohan is older than Prabhi. Suresh is younger than Prabhi. So Mohan is older than Prabhi. Suresh is younger than Prabhi. Mihir is older than Suresh, but younger than Prabhi. So Mihir will come in this between. Right. So who among the four is youngest is Suresh. Similar to this, already we solved one question, but there is bit, I think, bit, bit better than this way we solved. Six people, okay, twice younger than older than. This is also similar question. Mohan, okay, Prabhi, Suresh, so answer is youngest is Suresh, oldest is Mohan, right. Let's see about the next question. Now, see again, flow chart, as already mentioned, we are expecting three questions. A box that represents two different conditions in flowchart is which one? Diamond. So that's the one. Hardly you will take 10 seconds. Previous flowchart, at least you need to do all the steps, updating all box numbers and so on. But this is a bit easy one now. They are given a theory question. Hardly will people take 10 seconds to solve this. They updated the scenario. So please understand what's the requirement now. See the next one. Now again flowchart related question. You know why sir we have around three questions yes agreed. But this one which of the following is not a flowchart structure. Process yes. Process sequence is almost same. Repetition yes. We have a decision loop. If it failed, we have to repeat. True, we have to go for the next one. Yes. Case, we don't have this one in the flowchart process. You just think about in flowchart, what will be there? Your process or sequence, one by one. Process, sequence, both similar meaning. Okay. Repetition is there. Yes. When you have a decision loop, when you are fail, again, you need to go for the previous update and again keep going. Like in your program for loop, we do repetition of the same internal things. Case is not the case, uh, okay, is related to the flowchart, not a flowchart structure. And they're asking flowchart advantages and all, okay, we'll discuss. There are some around 10 questions which they keep on repeating. The advantage is that in theory questions that are not much related to flowchart, that's the great advantage for you. Related to pseudocode also, maybe tomorrow or day after tomorrow we have a pseudocode session, not like previous one. Now it's more theory oriented. Everybody focus on that. Most of the questions is from that bunch only they're repeating. Theory related questions. Now again see, diamond shape symbol is used for which one? Statement, error, for which purpose the diamond shape? Decision. Like this they're asking flowchart questions. Let's see the next one. Now, please, what about this? A man is 24 years older than his son. In two years, his age will be twice the age of his son. The present age of his son is what? So, what about this question now? A man is how much age? 25 years older than his son. So, yes plus 24. Right. In two years, his age will be twice the age of his son. Very important, you know, in two years, that statement is common for both man and son. Sir, when I have to take, okay, father two years after, they have, and son present age means they have to mention here. Age of the son now, age of his pres present age of the son, they have to mention that. If they don't mention this two years is common in two years means after two years. That is common for both man and son. In two years is common for both persons until unless they mention, okay, son's present age. Or twice the son now, son's present age, son age now. The dean mention means that in two years is common for both. Means man age after two years is twice the, what I have to write, is it yes or what I have to mention, yes or S plus 2? S plus 2. S plus 2 I have to mention. That in 2 years is common for both people. 
right now solving that equation above and below it's very simple things for you below one if you simplify m equal to 2s plus 2 will come right so for comparing at least you can get the answer or see the right side both are same so what is this sun present age they are asking present age of the sun you have options also what's the answer 22 you have both right sides equal right s plus 24 equal to 2s plus 2 solving will get s equal to 22 clear for this question okay this is the scenario they given the data they didn't given anything which is industrial city is not given they said this is not possible they given only which is not possible first thing like hill station which is not possible historical places or historical cities okay historical places or historical cities which is not possible they given industrial cities which is not possible they given which is possible is not mentioned but one thing they given is a and b are not alike so they are different a and b is going with the different things right so a is not hill station a is not the hill station and we have b and e are not comes under historical places d is not industrial city a and d also not comes under historical cities or historical places it's all comes under one so among a b c d e and f we don't have clarity regarding c and f there is no data regarding c and f they said only in the first line there are six cities called a b c d e and f but they given data only regarding a b d and e only there is nothing regarding c and f okay so historical cities not at all possible for a b d e possibility two cities which are historical places is c and f they asked one question you can see which two cities are industrial centers or oh, sorry historical places which two cities then it will be historical places not possible they clearly mentioned for which one not possible is a b e and d are not historical places or not historical cities so definitely two cities which will comes under historical is definitely c and f they are giving options actually i remove the options okay but options they'll give for everything like this a and b like that they'll mention you know two historical cities are nothing but c and c and f okay now 19th you have option 18th you have options right try that which two cities are hill stations two hill stations not possible is a we don't want a in the option so this will be eliminated this will be eliminated now among c and e b and d a should not be there yeah this is also eliminated only b and d we know a is not hill station a should not be there in the options some people are worried before but there is options given okay you just need to eliminate the options that's the basic task 17th one which city is a hill station and then industrial city but not a historical place it should be industrial city yeah let's see about <clears throat> this 17th question <clears throat> you have options right now ef ac so which city is a hill station and an industrial city but not a historic place this can be decided with options only okay this question because they not given any data directly they said not a hill station not a industrial city not given any data directly this can be solved with options related stuff only so here they given for this first one city is a hill station and hill station means a is not hill station why now and we want industrial center which is not industrial center here d is not industrial center okay it's in here not in the option but not a historical place we know c and f are historical places we considered c and f as historical so e is not historical place the possibility is for e among options e is the only possible we taken c and f are already historical places or historical cities they are asking which two cities are historical places we fix it c and f are historical places now the question is they don't want hill station they want hill station so a is okay not a hill station don't consider a and they are asking ribo garden 
not a historical place, CNF for historical places. We don't want historical placement, CNF to be eliminated. Among options suitable is E. Options related stuff this is, we cannot do the question directly. With options only you can move. And there is one more question like which two cities are industrial centers and which two cities are neither historical nor industrial centers. 20 and 21 will add the options as well. Okay, which two cities are industrial centers? So the options for this is A and B, E and F, C and D, D and F. This is for which two cities are industrial centers? Yes, answer. A and B. I said they want two cities industrial centers, right? Which is not industrial center? D is not industrial center. So one option, C and D, eliminated, right? Now A and B, E and E and F is there, B and F also there. So and already in previous one of the question, we consider E as the E as the industrial center we considered already. E is hill station and industrial center we consider. So E can be, yes, okay, E can be industrial center. Okay, so we can, it's a hill station. If it is not tick mark or into mark is not there, means we can consider it's a uh, historical one and it, it can be considered as industrial city. They want industrial, two industrial centers, right? Okay, so which is the other thing? A and B. A and B are not alike. Already A is hill station. So B to be taken as hill station. Then find among remaining A and B. Fine. B and F. E and F is there. If you go with B and F. B industrial city. F industrial city if you take. Okay fine. That's one thing. A and B are not alike. Good. And the other one they mentioned is. E and F. A and B, E and F, B and F. That's one scenario. A and B are not alike. That's the given. Fine. Means okay, one different also, it's not alike only. One different also, it's not alike. So we, we that's also a possibility. Now what else will come? D is not industrial city. That's the only thing eliminated. Only D, one option eliminated is this. Is this option suitable or not? One moment. Options is the crucial thing here. Which two cities are industrial centers? We have A and B, E and F, C and D, B and F. We eliminated D, that's we are clear with that. The options I am worrying about. The yeah, industrial centers, fine. And the other one here is the below one. This one also I'll give the options. You check this. Is it A and B or is it D and E or is it F and C or is it B and D or is it none of this? Okay, we have only four options. There is nothing called none also. What about this one? Neither historical nor industrial centers. Neither historical nor industrial centers. Maybe if you decide this, then we can. This is all with actually questions only. We are able to run the show. Okay. Before going for this 20th, let's complete this 21. Neither historical nor industrial. It should be not in that both. Neither historical nor industrial. A and B, D and E, F and C, B and D also there. Which one? B and D. Okay, we know. Okay, A, B, D are not historical. Okay, now we want neither historical nor industrial as well. We, D is already not industrial. So, this is okay, not industrial already. E, we already consider as a historical for one of the questions. So, E, now we cannot take industrial. So, E should be eliminated. Wherever E is there, yeah, this is not the correct one. 
and d already there in the picture so d must be there it's b and d only d must be there because we know d is not industrial d is not historical we already decided a b d e a b e and d are not historical d is not industrial i want d must be there in the options see this is actually options oriented kindly focus this is not directly stuff and that too one question related with other one problem here is one question related to other one sir this e if you don't decide industrial city how i decide industrial city e is because of this question 17th one helped me to decide e is the industrial city because they asked the question hill station not required a is the hill station they want hill station a is not a hill station we eliminated we decided there is one question historical two cities historical places so c and f we decided so c and f is historical we eliminated e must be the answer so e must be hill station e must be industrial city e is not historical place i tick marked e as a industrial center when e is industrial center now the question is they want okay neither historical nor industrial when they want don't want industrial e should not be there when eliminated e i must and should require d we already fixed d is not historical not industrial in the table so d must be there it's only an option b and d available so now what i have to take b is not historical b is not industrial i have to update the b is not historical not industrial historical we know it is not industrial also now using that i can solve the previous question using other question we are able to solve the other one it's not directly see i'll let you know i use this as the first data which two cities are historical first i solve this one using this only i am able to answer this question this is the second one we are able to answer here i came through e is industrial using that one then which two cities are hill stations that we eliminated with option a is not hill station a is there in every option apart from this so we came to know b and d are b and d are hill stations update that in the table b and d should come under hill station so b should be tick mark d should be tick mark b and d are hill stations here we have that this is all from the question i am updating the table from questions i am updating the table not directly next we use this one now we solve this as the fourth one there is a order first we solve this question then second here then third one here then fourth one this is now i am going for this fifth question this one which two cities are industrial centers now if you just work on it we came to know d is already not industrial we eliminated and which is not industrial still we have to go ahead what else b is also b is also now not industrial so b all available in the options also eliminated so this is what see e and f you cannot solve this question directly 20th one until remaining things are done problem in this question is that they are asking four questions with this data this is not direct one okay it's the given in lot of other competitive exams the questions what are i am discussing today everything available in google this set of papers recently they update also every question available you already written the notes you can try every question later if any line is missing also you can just type in google every question will be there this question also you can check you don't do it directly i repeat they may give lengthy solutions ignore it i'll update you people keep in mind use the questions one by one one by one that will be update there then the question will be done so how you eliminated this is i came to know from the data b and d are hill stations and from the data e is industrial okay we are using that data one by one one by one and i came to know b is not industrial when b is not industrial first option last option eliminate eliminated and we know okay d is not industrial so eliminated this 21st question is helping for 20th question if i know 21st then only i can solve 20th so there is a particular order you need to follow otherwise it's not easy to crack the question options are mandatory without options also you cannot solve this this is a bit tricky question kindly work on it take time still if you have doubt please ask in the break okay we'll work on it no issues 
let's see about the next question now data substance so what about this first one is it statement one alone statement two alone or what both statements together because if x is positive we know two product of two numbers both positive will be positive both negative will be negative one positive one negative means it will be negative so how to know whether it is x is positive or y is positive or not they given x positive okay but statement one alone i can't decide x positive okay i have to know y also suppose is product even number or not means x even means okay sufficient if you want to know product is even or not one number even also okay but if you want to decide positive or negative i have to know both things statement one alone not possible statement two alone not possible together i can say product of x and y is negative value as y is negative x is positive product will be negative yes both statements put together sufficient alone is not sufficient what about 23 data sufficiency how many odes that b hosted that cd hosted b hosted 30 number of odes statement one alone okay now guys i said already statement one alone correct also don't stop your process try statement two alone what statement two alone says b hosted five less than kolkata kolkata hosted 35 when they use the word which who which whose what are followed related to kolkata only immediate thing kolkata is 35 b is 5 less than that means 30 so statement 2 alone also you can do your answer should be e statement alone or either or you need an option like e each statement alone or if you have an option either or either one or two is your answer see sometimes they'll give the options like each statement alone sometimes they use the word either or okay that one you have to opt okay so answer is either or don't say statement one alone wrong answer statement one alone yes you can answer directly they given statement alone 30 but statement two alone also possible so either one or two or each statement alone kindly update this right let's see about the next one statements and assumptions my dear friends again i am repeating see everybody is a clever person everybody okay response should be positive everything is okay clever person let's see about this statement if you want to give any advertisement give it in the newspaper x b tells to a everybody please listen listen this one question you know give a lot of things regarding assumption concept If you want to give any advertisement, give it in the newspaper X. B tells A. See, if B is a good person, A is also good person. Think about it. B is clever person, A is also clever person. Both are good people. Let think in for that side. Okay. Why B tell to A? Because A want to give advertisement, right? Otherwise, why B he tells to A? He is not a fool guy. B is everybody is a clever. So that I don't want to give unnecessary advert uh, instructions or maybe. at uh, advises to the other person if i am a clever guy if i am a intelligent guy i am a good guy i don't want to give unnecessary advices to other people a b is telling to a means a want to give the advertisement that is why b telling to go for newspaper x means okay if b is good guy okay he is giving he is referring good good paper only means x is a big one so that's why if you give it to there your advert your your thing will reach to everybody and your sales will increase advertisement purpose is what to increase your marketing it to increase the sales final goal is to increase the sales right so see if you want to give advertisement okay give it to newspaper x b tells a now assumption 1 and 2 is it correct or not assumption 1 and 2 check this first one newspaper x has a wide circulation yes and why b is telling to a because a want to give some advertisement he want to uh, product products he want to give the product market okay he want to publicize his product publicize means to give for the public public how it will reach through advertisements they didn't it may be through newspaper it may be to tv 
channel so he want to advertise his projects products that's why b telling to a okay go and reach newspaper x so that's what both true both are implicit both are implicit now yes sir please yeah see, see let's let, okay fine listen to the question your friend is asking about so there is a statement called if good if he is given babu enakala maatladaru yeah your doubt is like okay if he is mentioned right so if you want to give an advertisement give it in the newspaper x that's what b tell to a okay agreed your friend is saying there is a word if sir okay there is a problem if means there is a doubt okay it's fine agreed but why b is advise giving to a x a want that that's why b otherwise b will be a fool guy unnecessary thing he is advising so b is not see here in this topic statement and assumption everybody is a clever everybody is good everybody is intelligent okay everyone is having some purpose b is selling to a means or c there is a question like okay if you want english coaching go to as then there is a assumption like as is good for english coaching that person want english coaching then you have to take both are correct only why they will give advice to uh, maybe advice to that person is yes that person want that they want that and that's why this guy is advertising i don't worry about if they are using the word if but still why this guy is giving here if you want advertisement then go for that then means okay here as per the question you search anywhere later you can find things okay he want to publicize that's why he is giving the advertisement yes newspaper x as b is a good person we will think everybody is a good person don't think that we will get the commission that is why b is are referring to the a that's negative thinking positive say that's what our statements and assumptions is always about positive thinking everybody is good that's the only line dear sir i will by heart 100 questions nothing you keep in mind this point you are positive b everybody is positive okay think everything in a positive direction right now let's see about the next one now what about this rams recent investment in the share of company is only a gamble okay assumption 1 ram may incur loss assumption 2 ram may gain from his investment what will be the answer is it only one only two either one or two neither one nor two both follows both he will get loss gain both at a time if you say both means loss and gain oh, at a time occurring is not correct right gambling means what either or you may got gain or you may got loss there is no guarantee gambling game okay it may be there is no guarantee you may lose or you may gain so one is lose one is either one or two the first question regarding statements and assumptions which you got either or maybe in conclusions you got but this is the statements and assumptions it's either one or two you may gain or you may lose you are playing gambling game okay you may gain or you may lose so loss is given in first one second one is gain one among that will happen not both will happen either one or two either first one or second one is implicit either one or two is the answer still we are not entered into passages we need to move next again statements and assumptions an advertisement says that you can double your money in 2 years see generally advertisement basic purpose you keep in mind wherever there are some people who want that advertisement generally everybody for advertisement they have to invest money right is in they want to invest money or not for advertisement means they are spending money they don't want to lose the amount there are some people who want that's why these people are giving advertisement by spending money 
So people want their money to grow. That's why these people are giving the advertisement like this. Whether it is genuine or not, we don't know. The assurance is not genuine or genuine. We can't give from that given statement. But yes, they give an advertisement. Okay, the money will double in five years or two years means yes. When they give an advertisement, there are some people. See, advertisement, any product, there are some people who require that. That's why they are giving advertisement. For advertisement, they are spending lakhs of amount. Before that, they are not full. That's why they are giving some advertisement means they are not full. They know there are some people who require. Okay, that's why I said everybody is intelligent. Everybody are clever. Everybody are good. Nobody want to waste their money. So they are giving advertisement means there are some people who want that. Who want that? Assurance is not genuine or genuine. We cannot decide here. They said, okay, double in two years. Fine. Okay, people want their money to grow. There are some people who want to grow their money. That's why these people are giving advertisement and they are tempting them and they are getting the amount, whether it is genuine or not. Later, we can decide, but we cannot show. Now, again, flowchart related theory question. Which among this? Why do we use a flowchart? Diagram. For better understanding, yes. To understand the process better, we will draw the diagram. And to explain how a process works, yes. First step after next step, which one or whether that is going yes or no decision and all. All the above. To highlight a process in order to improve. This type of theory questions, hardly in flowchart, we have 10 to 15. Out of the three questions they are giving, repeatedly you are getting the same. So keep in mind, you are going to handle this question in 20 seconds. Time saver. Previously, flowchart question is taking two minutes, but now three questions, hardly 30 seconds. That's what you have a time saver, you have an update. Okay, don't miss this. Next one, you can create a flowchart using pen and pencil, yes. Using offline software, using online software, yes. All the above. Yeah, you can use pen and paper. There is software for that flowchart creation. All the above. See this basic questions. That's what previously you may think critical thinking or critical reasoning taking too much time. But now the things are changed. Things are changed. You can create a flowchart using all the above. And what is the use of flowchart is this. Yeah, please maintain silence. Next one. Data sufficiency related question this is. Statement 1 or statement 2, statement 3 also there. So I need to show the options as well for this. Listen, there are three things and they are given options like this. Is it only 1 and 2 is required or only 1 and 3 or all are required? The question is actually come. What the what come represents? We want to know the code for come. Come. Is 1 and 2 required? Are all required? Are they are asking 2 and 3, 1 and 3? Is 1 and 2, 2 and 3? 1 and 3 all which are required to know the code for come? To know the code for come, 1 and 3 is sufficient. My dear friend, if you observe 1 and 3, what is common in both? Come. What is the common code here? NA. So come means NA. We are able to decide with the statements. This is data sufficiency only. But with three statements. Previously with two statements. Now with three statements. I want to know what is the code for come. One and three data is sufficient. So option C. One and three is the answer. You can recall we are stick on for the syllabus flow chart, critical thinking, uh, comes under critical thinking, data sufficiency, critical thinking, statements and assumptions, statements and conclusions, critical thinking only. Now let's see again, again, again you have flow chart related theory. And you need to suggest me which flow chart symbol is used to indicate a delay or waiting time in the process. Diamond is for delay. Circle. Parallelogram, rectangle with wavy bottom, CSE students, CSL branches. Help me out to solve this question. In flowchart, which is indicating 
a delay or waiting time in the process. We can do option eliminations also. We people are very clear with diamond is for decision, circle is for start and stop, parallelogram is for processing or maybe input and outputs in given related. So rectangle with wavy bottom is the answer, which is used to indicate a delay or waiting time. Now, see this regarding caroms. Okay, this is arrangement only related to caroms. See this question. G, H, L, and J are playing a game of carom. G and L are partners. J and H are partners. Partners will sit opposite, right? So, people are playing a carom means they are facing towards center or outside. Well, pay, playing carom game, they are facing towards the center. Facing towards the center. Okay, and they given G and L are partners, J and H are partners. Let's say G and L here. Now, where I have to put J and H is, uh, J is to the right of L, who is facing west. Okay, one second. See, first, okay, I put it correct only. L is facing towards the west direction. You know, this is facing south. This is facing towards south. This is facing towards, this is facing towards, this is facing towards west. When there is a word called who, water comes next is related to L only. This is related to L. L is facing west direction. So L is here. L is facing west direction. Okay. As G and L are partners, G will be here. Right. Next, J is to the right of L. L right side J should come. Listen in square or circle or any closed arrangement, right means immediate right. You should take right means immediate, otherwise, as this closed arrangement, right means all people will cover. Right means we should generally consider as immediate right. J is immediate right of L. So J must be here. L right side is this. You are facing like this, right will be like this. J is immediate right of L. So here should be H. Now J is facing which direction? South. J is in north position. Okay, some people are arguing J may be in the north position, but he is facing towards south. Arrow is down, facing towards south. L may be in the east position, but he is facing towards west. So try to understand that. You may be in some place, but you are facing towards which one? Right, see this. Seating arrangements related. All this comes under critical thinking. So far, except one question, number series remaining all are critical thinking only. Again, statements and assumptions. If it is easy to become a singer, I don't want to be a singer. Actually, the question is engineer, you know. Instead of singer, engineer is actually there. They changed it. That's the only change they given in the question. If it is easy to become a singer, I don't want to be a singer. Actually, the question is for engineer, that is. If it is easy to become an engineer, I don't want to become an engineer. A person wish to be a professional. Okay, that way you cannot decide with that. But second one, one want to have something that has been achieved through Easily he don't want, he want through hard work. So that second one we can decide. So second one, only two is implicit here. First one we cannot say. So we don't say professionals who do hard work that we cannot decide. Prof easy things only, not related to professionals that we cannot say. So yeah, if it is easy to become a singer, I don't want to be a singer, fine. Okay, you want things to be done with hard work. So that's what one want to have something that has been achieved through hard work. So only one is implicit. Now this question, I think everybody has certain idea. Every year here and there, there is some strikes from especially you can may recall regarding RTC people, they'll do some strike. For what purpose they'll do strike? Protest? For increasing the 
salary da and all to increase okay now okay they given see here this is related to teachers first read the question statement is the teachers of all the degree colleges went to a indefinite strike in protest against the government decision to postpone the pay revision to next year they want to revise the pay okay but they postpone to next year okay so the teachers want to go for strike again is that okay now this is actually course of action they made it as assumption but if you see this this is actually comes in the course of action this actually comes in a course of action so what is course of actions in general is there is some problem or situation given you want to improve is the situation or immediate action to be taken to avoid that problem there is some problem okay what is the immediate action you should take and that action should not create the other problem the action should not create the other problem okay what is the action to be taken immediately to avoid the issue but that action should not generate the other problem now government may suspend all the striking teachers government may revise the pay of the college college teachers in the current year if let us say listen listen if this is statements and assumptions okay then the second one will be true why positive the response they want to go for the strike as they postpone the say salary increase for the next year okay as the, the partial response they are expecting is government will increase the salary current year only if it is statements and assumptions second one is okay but if it is statements and course of actions listen you know when there is a strike of rtc people they are asking 30% hike let's say okay the government say no they will go for the strike then what will be finally happen what is the final thing is there suspending all the employees If they suspend all the employees what will happen the new people will be afraid to join in the company again they may need to face the issue right or else let's say the government agreed for 30% high the next time onwards for everything these people go for strike that's also another problem then what they do generally this union people will sit along with the some people from government they ask 30% high these people say 10% high they'll come for the compromise of 18% high that's how the problem will be resolved if it is course of actions you know both are false okay increasing immediately right now or increasing maybe suspending all the people is not correct if it is statements and assumptions second one correct if it is regarding here this is statements and assumptions only okay considering that case only if it is statements and assumptions then second one must be true because we need to respond positively revising the pay yes they go for the strike expecting the positive response we have to respond in positive side is okay increasing the salary but if it is statements and course of actions both are wrong they need to sit together they need to come to the compromise okay this side is not okay this is not okay they'll discuss and they'll go for that if it is statements and assumptions second one okay positive response positive response now again statements and assumptions be humble they stress the word even after you own a game right be humble even after you win the game or you own a game assumption one people are generally if they are generally humble why they give that statement why he is telling that even after they says the word even after even you win be humble people are generally humble means why they will give the statement right people are generally not humble after being victorious he is request you be humble after you still you win so he is mentioning that he be even okay humble after you win the game also so second one assumption is correct statements and assumptions i already shared the pdf kindly work on it right and last question before the break and i'll show the glimpse of that passages also which of the following statements is true about flow chart flow chart are only used in computer programming flow chart are meant for artistic expressions 
flowchart can only represent a linear process flowchart help in visualizing which is true only in computer programming no whether any branch students those who done the project you know at the end if you when you do the project presentation if you put it in a diagram flowchart any project can be put it in a flowchart you know everybody can easily understand first step okay maybe you are doing a project to help a farmer how it is running first step what you are doing okay for some cultivation or water it may be you can put it in the flowchart it is not only for computer programming no it is not only for linear purpose all those no it is only for artistic expression no it is for visualizing the process okay that's the correct one right